Hello, I'm Bruce Boulding with the Washington Department of Fish and Wildlife. I'm on Mayfield Reservoir here in Lewis County, Washington with Ed Walzer. And today Ed is going to be fishing for Washington's largest game fish, the tiger muskie. The tiger muskies are a cross between a true muskie and a northern pike. They have vertical stripes on their sides which gives them their name. And they can grow up into the upper 40 and even 50 inch range and weigh well over 30 pounds. So because of their size, most people like to fish for tiger muskies with really stiff rods and big hard baits like bucktail spinners or large spoons. But Ed's become an expert at fishing for tiger muskies with fly fishing gear. So in today's video, he's going to show us a little bit about the fly fishing techniques he uses, where in the lake he likes to look for tiger muskies, as well as how to handle and release tiger muskies uh, safely. So. Let's get out on the water and see if Ed can tie into one of these big, exciting fish. I'm ready. All right, let's go. Just brush against them and they slice you right open. Anyway, this spot right here is pretty much a, a big flat. And um, the muskies will be everywhere in here. There's an occasional stump which muskies like to hide around because they're ambush fish. We use a whole bunch of different techniques on um, retrieve. This is pretty much what a lot of guys do throughout the country, fast, fast strip, trying to get a muskie to chase it. I don't do a lot of that until I see that I got a muskie on, on my fly Most of the time, I, I'm a twitcher. I just just barely twitching my fly. Gives the fly a little more action. Yeah, I don't know if it gives more action. It's just to me, it's like um, it's a helpless fly. It's a helpless black whatever. <laughs> it's like a little wounded creature. And muskies can't stand something wounded. They just can't stand it. The trouble with these big flies is they like to spin sometimes while you're retrieving them. Maybe a revolution here and a revolution there. Pretty soon your fly line gets all twisted up. You'll see me today, I'll stop, I'll take the reel off and spin it backwards. Otherwise you got a big knot here all the time. There's one, see him? He's right on the back of it. He dropped off. He's a little guy. He's like a 30 incher. Maybe 32. Yeah, I'll show you another retrieve on camera here. It's, it's sometimes if they're really biting, you know they're biting, you can do a fast strip and you point it, put it under your arm and point it. This will stop your heart sometimes, because when they hit it, <laughs> they'll boil the water, because your fly's only about that far underwater. Okay, well, Ed, I have gotten a sore shoulder on more than one occasion casting <laughs> big, heavy, hard baits for tiger muskies, but I've never fly fished for them before. So let's go over technique a little bit. Maybe you could start off by telling us about 
uh, what type of rod you use, the weight, and then we can go to the line and then maybe the flies. Uh, pretty much musky fishermen use um, 10 weight rods. Uh, I have a 10 and 11 in the boat. You can get away with a 9. Uh, the bigger the rod, the more stiff it is. Um, generally, it'll throw a heavier line, which helps you throw big long flies that are really wind resistant. Do you have a particular color that you prefer? I'm a complete black freak. I like black flies. Everybody knows I like black flies. Um, um, I use them day in and day out. Uh, although we have other flies here, these are mine. These are some of my friends from the Midwest that tie these. They have a lot dirtier water and they use these brighter and more active flies. Uh, here's a topwater fly that I use once in a while. Um, but basically, 99% of the time will find me fishing some form of a black fly. Anywhere from 12 inches long to 16 inches long. Yeah, I know a couple guys that are really successful tiger musky anglers with the hard baits, and they use black uh, bucktail spinners. It seems to work really well for them. I have no idea why black works. There's nothing in the water that's black that's, that muskie would have probably ever ate or ever saw, but it attracts them. It really does. Whatever works. Yep. <laughs> this area has a ton of fish in it back here. Sometimes you come by here just before dark, and this whole bay out here is rolling with muskies. It's amazing. Better hurry, he ain't hooked good. Yeah, he's coming your way under the boat. Here he comes. He's a weed hugger. Not the fat guy. Better net him pretty soon. He's gonna he's gonna get off. All right, start with, you get a muskie. This is a 39 incher here. I just pulled the fly out of his mouth with some long needle nose pliers, very handy. If I couldn't have got the fly out and he'd had it buried someplace, we could cut it with these good cutters, very necessary. Anyway, we've measured him. Now it's time to handle him. So now to handle him, we're gonna put fingers underneath his gill plate, not on his gills. Should hold him like a 45 degree, support him like so. He's good to go and now we should probably turn him loose, revive him a little bit. Now to revive a fish, we hold him like this and shake him back and forth, side to side. You don't want to drag them backwards, it's hard on their, it gets too much uh, water over their gills. When he starts fighting me doing this, and he's trying to fight me right now, and he wants to go, I'm going to let him go. He should be taken off. So, we had a fantastic day of tiger muskie fishing here on Mayfield Reservoir. We saw a lot of fish, Ed had a lot of follows, but he didn't catch his one and only fish today until about 2.30 this afternoon, which goes to show you even somebody as dialed in as Ed has to be patient and persistent. And that's why they call muskies the fish of a thousand casts. We stock tiger muskies into seven lakes in Washington, and we hope you'll go out and take advantage of fishing for this exciting sport fish. Mm -hmm.